Hey guys, previously I've showcased some tournament games with only raw footage and this would result in parts where I wouldn't commentate on my thought process. Today I'll be looking to do something different, which is to do a post commentary of a tournament game while showcasing both players' hands. Hopefully this will give you further insight to some higher level tournament games. The game I'll be showcasing today is the finals of the 20th Warp Meta Tournament between Frenzy and I. A match between his mid-range battle mage shown on the right and Delvani conscription shown below. This is quite an even matchup with mid-range battle mage being the aggressive deck while Delvani conscription taking the more controlling role due to its inevitability with Tullius's conscription. Battle mage tends to build up momentum quite slowly as opposed to traditional mid-range thus giving Delvani early game breathing room. In the mid game, Battle Mage can quickly spit out threats to overwhelm Telvani the turn's priority conscription. However, once Telvani reaches conscription, it is very hard for Battle Mage to come back. Telvani has the tools to deal with Battle Mage threats, but sometimes answers don't line up and it can be very awkward to deal with the Battle Mage hand. This was a very close game and is one worth looking as it displays a pretty classic mid range versus control matchup. Alright, let's jump into the game. I'm going first, so that means Frenzy has the ring. In this matchup, ring isn't too relevant, other than the fact that if I had the ring, I could point out Conscription one turn earlier. I'm looking for negations and Daggerfall mages to contest with the board. I didn't get any, so I just shipped everything. Now let's look at Frenzy's mulligan. Here he has two tail boss and Daggerfall mages. It's a pretty easy mulligan, you just keep Daggerfall. Frenzy is going to crown Quartermaster on 1. Interestingly enough, in some matchups you do not want to crown Quartermaster on 1, especially if you're the control player. However, he's the aggressor, so he definitely crown Quartermasters on 1. And as he has follow ups with this play. Here I developed Skulk to start pulling out Fire Blooms from the deck, forcing him to be reactive. Here, Frenzy is going to think quite long about this turn, whether it's Daggerfall Mage or Harpy. If he develops Daggerfall Mage, it gets heavily punished by negation. So he is prob the better play is just probably to not be greedy and just RP this Skulk. As Skulks will win many games straight up on turn 2. Here he's going to RP. So to react to this, Mastermind is the magicka efficient play but my turn 4 is looking like a lightning bolt therefore I don't really need to be that magicka efficient. Also Borrow Stalker protects my skulk and I do want to draw that fire bloom deck. Here Frenzy uses the dagger to make the trade and he coins out dagger form. Obviously this means I cannot lightning bolt and I have to resort into Endoro Mastermind. So you draw the bloom first before masterminding and here I'm de debating whether to mastermind field or shadow. Because of my sun and draw top deck I resort to sun and shadow to Endoro Mastermind shadow. That way I can set up sun and shadows. Um, I took the scout report because Skulk is a little slow for my hand and my hand is quite clunky. So I'm just digging for removal and silencing. Here Frenzy can Harpy Daggerfall Mage, but he potentially wants to save a ring charge. He could also Tome as well. But the problem with this play is that it leaves him vulnerable to like fire bloom, like a reverber string of fire bloom, and this gives me back tempo on board. So frenzy decides not to hit for two, which I would disagree. Which I think he should hit for two because not prophecy doesn't really punish him. Maybe he thinks my hand is awkward as I have discarded a lot of cards, and so he decides that it's not worth making my hand nicer giving me the extra card. So 
this turn, I can't sun in shadows anymore because I don't want to give him free Daggerfall Mage food. So I take this trade and I use Mummify as a 3 mana silence effect. It feels really bad but this shows you the power of Daggerfall. Here Frenzy has two choices, to take the Tome and trade with the, take the favorable trade. Or take the Tome, go face, smash 6 damage to the face, or just develop trade with the 2-1 in and develop Tell Boss. I think Frenzy is playing this very slow, but he could be more aggressive. With his hand though, he could he probably has to take it slow because he doesn't really have that much tempo plays. And he could quickly run out of steam if he gives me good answers. Also, I think Frenzy at this point, since it was a tournament, I won the previous game where I hit 3 out of 5 prop runes. So he was probably very cautious of prophecies. Here I just be magical efficient and I take the necromancer. I give it Barrel Stalker as a pseudo firebolt. I just wanted to trade with the 4 2. I could also take Endure Mastermind, but I'd, I'd rather have 4 health than dig through 2 of my cards. Also, this way it protects the 3 3. And 3 3 is quite relevant in this matchup because it is a hard body to remove. This gives me control of the field lane and pushes him shadow lane. Obviously, he can just develop Telvoss field, but then I would be okay popping the ward and bolting it. But it's looking like a Telvoss turn for Frenzy, and next turn, he can just Vigilant Giant or Telvoss and Heart. So yeah, he takes to heart the Telvoss in the field lane. Uh, he goes obviously you go face first, and at this point no prophecy really punishes you. Telvoss field, I don't really have a good great answer to this. So he took a slow turn. I could bolt, but I do not have a three drop to go with it. I don't really want to play thieves go to harpy. So this turn I decide to harpy this on the right. And this will be my Sun and Shadow target to Shackle. Now this Sun and Shadow is a very interesting pick. Normally you pick Conscription when you don't have Conscription in hand because that is your win condition. However, I'm thinking about getting Ice Drum here because Quite frankly, my hand, I need some kind of AoE quite soon if, if Frenzy starts flooding the board. I have Mummified to answer his Vigilant Giant, which is very key in this matchup. And here I take quite some time deciding which to take. It would be, I could consider taking Negation as a quite good tempo play, but it's more of a band age than a Wind Condition. So I decide to take my Wind Condition and take Egyptian. So here, I actually forget how you go back to the card selection screen, so I was actually panicking at this point. I didn't mean to rope Frenzy. I wanted to look at my Discord discard pile and I ended up forgetting that you just press the deck list button deck icon to go back to this list. So I just take conscription because I need to go for a winning play rather than just hoping to survive against mid-range battle mage. Now friends, so I used a one mummified quite leniently, so Frenzy probably knows that I have another one in. Therefore, he's not going to play Vigilant Giant, and instead, his play is probably Vigilant Acid and Ash Berserker or Telvoss and Harpy. I think he does want to play Harpy this turn because it prevents a favorable trade. Now, I, my hand is looking quite good at this point. I have a lot of removal and that's why I also chose Conscription. I don't necessarily need more removal, but uh, AoE like such as Ice Storm would be quite nice. So if Frenzy decides to Harpy and Ash Berserker, he's quite vulnerable to Ice Storm. 
So here he decides to Harpy and Tail Boss. It's quite hard for me to deal with this board. Luckily I top deck negation. So here I negationed the Tail Boss and traded it in. However, one thing to note is I should have fire blew my harpy first to increase my chance from 1 and 3 to hitting a tail boss into 1 and 2. You don't mummify here because you need to save with the vigilant giant. This deck cannot deal with a minion larger than 5 health because fire bloom is your other hard remove. So I take the draw first because my turn is was 2, 2, and 4. And here I take the Fire Bloom and the Harpy as it's shackled. I get the lucky 1 and 4 and it makes my turn quite nice. I just bolt it. Now Frenzy still decides to play around the Ice Storm. And so he is going to just Vigilant on the Shadow Lane. The Shadow Lane. Now I've saved my Mummify for this and I got rewarded. Obviously it's not great but it, it will do. I Mummify, I trade in with the 2-1. I have uh, 6 Magicka remaining so I play Schemer and I play Flying Marsh Blade. I do pop the ward. Sometimes you don't want to pop the ward when you have creatures breakthrough but in this case I do want to pop the ward. In case I draw a black end and I want to sack it to drain. Now Frenzy's hand has a lot of burst. Frenzy is considering battle macing the mummy and going face. You could also use the rapid shot to remove the schemer and this is where his big swing temple. I don't like to use battle mace unless it has immediate value. And so uh, my play would have been Ancestor and Ash Berserker. However, he's still very paranoid about an Ice Storm I do not have. And so he decides to just Battle Mace and take the Rapid Shot. Now I am one turn off Conscription, so Whatever I need to do next turn, I need to set up for conscription. Which means I need to try to make as empty board as possible, but also minimizing his damage. So here Frenzy takes the battle mace, smacks me for 6, because he knows he needs to kill me for conscription. He takes the ash berserker and this is a valid use of rapid shot as you do use it for tempo. Making my turn awkward. Luckily I top deck negation and this is very easy for me. I can just reverberate strike the Ash Berserker, trade with the 2-2. Obviously you draw first. Black end is a nice draw as I can fit it in this turn and as I am in 10 health I am going to conscription next turn. Therefore I need to black end myself just to heal for 4. This way I can conscription and I feel a lot safer. Also interesting thing to note, you might actually want to bolt the Ash Berserker in some cases because of magical efficiency. However, I know he runs 3 belligerent giants so I need to save the bolt for those and I don't actually need to be magical efficient. I do not play the Wardcrafter out because I need 7 spaces for conscription and I really need to hit a harpy during this conscription. Frenzy knows it's a conscription turn so he's going to take this turn off to develop Vigilant Giant. Luckily I have a Harpy to answer that. It's unfortunate I top decked a Borrow Stalker because during this conscription I do not get a Borrow Stalker. However the guard go does go in the right lane and I'm quite happy about this conscription. Except maybe Sly Marshblade could have been on the right side so I could draw a card. So I ward the Fighters Guild and yeah, this is quite a difficult board to deal with. However, I did not get the Borrow Stalker, so I can actually start raising Frenzy. Frenzy still has 6 cards in hand, which is very hard to deal with. So this is a very difficult turn for Frenzy. You should start with the Rapid Shot to draw and pop this first. That he does exactly that.
at this point, I need to... I still haven't really stabilized because there's an 8-8 on board and I don't really have an answer for it. Which is kind of tough. Rapid Shot draws in Belligerent Giant. And here, Frenzy should have... I think should have took this Belligerent Giant and pushed 3 damage to the face. Because this, you need to start killing me before I stabilize. An interesting thing to note, I could have got a schemer from the conscription, would have, which would have made my turn more awkward if I did not hit the heart. So Frenzy takes the Breton Firebolt line. It does make my turn awkward unless I have an Ice Storm. So my turn is looking like bolting the 8-8 and trading two four ones in. Shackling one thing, which leaves me with five magicka. I can develop two guards or I can develop ward crafter and guard. I do not have time to draw, so I cannot use scout report. Here I just take the two trades, I lightning bolt. I use the pet. Normally when you're in a uh, high health, you can pet the Breton to deny any ward synergies. However, here I need to uh, shackle the 5-5 as I am very low on I'm debating whether to trade the Skulkin in case of an Ice Storm top deck. I've thinned my deck quite well and I should draw one fight soon. I'm debating what to if I should scout report or not, but I think the obvious play is just to pet two and three. Obviously I can also pet two and two and one. But I took the line of just petting Dark Guardian and Ward Crafting this. End. It is quite hard for him to go through a Dark Guardian, but he does have this belligerent giant. Now if Frenzy had decided to belligerent giant last turn, I still would have the pet for it, but he could top deck a spinner to go through the the Jacko. Here it's kinda hard to ward decide what to ward crafter, but ward crafter the pet because I know he runs belligerent giants and he runs three of them. So it's a pretty good belligerent target, he's not going to get much better than me. However, this leaves Frenzy not able to develop anything else, and that is quite unfortunate. He also bolts, but this bolt is usually going for phase. I think you just take the belligerent and to push forward. Now. I actually don't really have answers to this, and it's actually quite a hard board to deal with. Obviously, I can double guard, but double guard is not safe, especially through breakthrough. And that is my really only option. Uh, I could also Shadow Fen Priest the breakthrough, but. Two guards is not very safe against Shadow Me. Here I think Frenzy is debating whether or not to... Oh wow, so he decided to... Ancestor. And that way it protects his cutting out. So I got a very lucky Ice Storm. I have... I can Shadow Fen Priest this, so I decide to draw first. And I don't need a Schemer, I top deck the Reverberating Strike, that's why you always draw first. Like, Ice Storm is always happening, so you don't really always have to draw first. And yeah, develop Bar Stalker. Next turn, I can Conscription again. Uh, Frenzy's hand. 
He almost got there. He was two damage off. If he had belligerent giant a turn earlier, perhaps he could have found this. But I think I had answers to his belligerent. So the play, he's debating whether or not to bolt this 2-3, but I think you do not bolt this 2-3. As an aggressive player, you want, like, Drain is a huge pain in the ass. However, at this stage, it's only 2 health, and he gets to draw a card. I think a card is worth more than 2 health, and he wants, really wants to save this bolt for face. So here, I would just tell Vos on the left lane and just pray. This allows me to gives me rune for a second conscription. However, I will might not draw a harpy off this. It could be quite risky. And he decides to have boss on the field lane as I actually can't deal with it. So here, instead of conscriptioning, I decide to take the Shadowfen Priest value. And I didn't take so I do hit him here because I can deal with his prophecies. And I do Dark you Dark Guardian first in case he hits a Prophecy. However, I decide to set up Conscription and I do Heal for 4. Again, doing the same play to play around Triple Bolt and to give me room to Conscription. It seems like a waste of a Black Hand, but here, if he just decides to like it just gives me room to develop conscription because conscription is a very slow here he takes the spinner and hopefully he pushes in them so now fire bloom is a very awkward play but it is the correct play i do need space for conscription and it hits the right target. I get a 5 creature conscription. I draw 2 cards and I get a shackle effect and a guard. At this point, Frenzy is pretty much out of the game. He can't burst me down. He can't control my board. Perhaps if he got a cradle crush with this Breton Conjurer, it would have been quite nice. But yeah, after the second conscription, the game is pretty much over. Now here, my attack ordering is a little fishy. I should attack with a 4 for first because I'm going for lethal. Here he gets a harpy or a bolt. And obviously he bolts the 4 for Because there's no point going for lethal at this stage. I am one off lethal. So here I take the Ice Storm and I can bring back Necromancer Black Hand which is to reach. Not missing Black Hand Messenger Lethal again, especially after that game against Beta Man. Yeah, there you have it. Frenzy almost got there, he was too off the lethal. And yeah, I made it. Perhaps if he pushed the damage early on, he would have made it. However, it would have made my hand better and gave me threats. Yeah, that's the game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You won't be seeing much of it on ladder, as ladder is all Hlalu and Scout, but you will see it in total.